G'day guys, Jared McNeil here. Grew up in a small town, Deniliquin, Australia. Currently living in Temecula, California. One day my parents brought home Pee Wee 50 and next thing you know I was about two and a half years of age, I think I was back then. Just started going around the roundabout on the farm, just got the feel of riding. Dad used to run behind me and next thing you know we were uh, going to the motor motocross tracks like the local ones and racing on the weekends as a family. Had uh, two brothers and a sister so we all got into riding dirt bikes and we had the big bus and going to local motocross tracks. So. That'd be the start of my riding. How I get into freestyle motocross? A good friend of mine, Cade Mozik, was really good friends with Blake Williams and Cameron Sinclair. One day they came back from uh, Mount Buller from a freestyle show they did up in the snow. And at that time I was racing Supercross and I had a freestyle ramp then and kind of, you know, mucked around with my local friends on the ramp. And those guys came through town one day and called into my place. We had 50 acres with, our, with all the motocross tracks and supercross tracks and freestyle ramps. And uh, Bill Cole and Cam came for a ride, so kind of looked at them and I was like, you know what, hey, I can do both. Like, this could be a dream. I could do both race motocross and do freestyle. And that's what I planned on doing. And 2007, I won Australian Championship, and that was the same year I kind of got into freestyle demos through Cam and Bilko. 2008 and 9, I started doing more freestyle and was racing full time at the same time, but it just it took a lot to, to keep my racing going. So I decided to do freestyle full time in 2010, and that's what I do now freestyle. I made the move to the USA because my career was kind of pointing this direction. It's kind of the heart of freestyle motocrosses here in Southern California. So basically packed my bags in 2010 uh, through Nitro Circus and Travis Pastrana. I got an invite for my first ever X Games Best Whip. So pretty much just packed my bags, threw everything under the bus and headed off to the US for the first ever time. And here I am now, four years later. <laughs> Stay with me. Jeez, my day has changed. I mean, I'm at the gym to pretty much riding every day. <laughs> yeah, I wake up in the mornings. Uh, I'm either at the track or on the ramps. Occasionally go on the gym as much as I can. I would like to get in there a little more, but just trying to fit it in my schedule. You know, going out, riding my BMX bikes or my downhill bikes. You know, living in California, you kind of have the mountains really close. So going up there and riding my downhill bike. That's pretty fun. Go to the beach, I'm not a real big beach person, but it's, uh, it's close, it's near there. And uh, hanging out with my friends, catching up, catching up with my sponsors, and that's about it really, that's a day with me. There's no real limits with freestyle, it's whatever you can do, you can express yourself in any way you want. Going out and, and racing, yeah, you've, it's, it takes a lot of demanding and, and, and skill and time. There's a lot more pressure, I guess, with doing that. Freestyle, I, I think, is a little more relaxed. And yeah, okay, like now I have to you know, start going to the gym and being fit and healthier. Freestyle's kind of became more of a sport. The tricks are becoming a lot gnarlier. I just like the freedom. I uh, you know, have my own style on the bike and I can express that however I want. So I think yeah, it just come down to being free on the bike and, and, and showing people and entertaining people and you know, putting a smile on people's faces with riding, so that'd be the, the biggest thing.